the missile that turned India into a superpower, and now even global powers are lining up to buy it. It takes decades, even generations, for a nation to rise among the world's superpowers. Most countries spend trillions chasing that status, yet only a few ever get close. Now imagine this. India didn't just catch up, it leapt ahead, and it did it with a single missile. Unbelievable? That's exactly what happened, and the world is still trying to process it. So what is this missile? How did India build a weapon so advanced that even the United States took notice? In this video, we'll break down the genius behind the BrahMos missile, how it changed India's global standing, and why everyone suddenly wants it. When it comes to cruise missiles, the American-made harpoon was once considered the gold standard. It had seen action across multiple battlefields, including the Gulf War, and was trusted for its reliability. With a range of 200 to 300 kilometers and a speed of around Mach 0.71, it was effective but relatively slow. But then came a moment no one expected. In the early 2000s, India stunned the world by testing a missile unlike anything seen before. It wasn't just fast, it was blisteringly fast, reaching speeds of Mach 3 with the same 300 kilometer range. That's more than four times faster than its American counterpart while maintaining equal precision. This wasn't just a breakthrough. It was a loud signal to the world. India has big plans and it's playing in the big leagues now. And remember, this was over two decades ago when very few nations even had the capability to build cruise missiles. For India, not only to build one, but to build one of the best in the world seemed almost impossible. So here's the billion dollar question. How did they do it? Before the collapse of the Soviet Union, the U.S. and USSR were locked in a brutal arms race, churning out powerful weapons at a staggering pace. But there was a fatal flaw in the Soviet model. Their economy couldn't keep up with their military ambitions. No matter how strong your missiles are, if your economy collapses, your power vanishes. India watched and learned. Unlike many nations that poured everything into weapons first, India realized a deeper truth. A strong military begins with a strong economy. It's a simple lesson, but one that many authoritarian regimes still fail to understand. India embraced it, quietly, strategically. It focused on building its economy, knowing that military power would follow. Then came the 1990s. The Soviet Union had fallen, and Russia was in economic freefall, desperate to sell advanced tech to stay afloat. For India, this was the moment. Russia saw India as a gold mine. The two nations began co-developing major defense projects like the Su-30 MKI fighter jet, though some argue that deal favored Russia more than India. But then came the real turning point. India and Russia joined forces to create something entirely new. A cruise missile so fast, so precise, and so advanced, it would shake the military balance across Asia. The result? Brahmos. I still remember reading about it in a magazine. The specs were unbelievable. I thought, this missile can't be real. But it was. And two decades later, it's still one of the best cruise missiles on Earth. And now, a hypersonic version is on the horizon, with a range of 800 kilometers. But here's the real twist. Why are countries suddenly lining up to buy it from India? That's what we'll uncover in the next section. A recent incident between India and Pakistan didn't just make headlines, it quietly changed how the world views modern warfare. What caught my attention wasn't the political noise or media spin, it was something far more revealing. While some countries publicly sided with Pakistan, praising their defenses and inflating their performance, behind the scenes, those same countries are trying to buy the BrahMos missile from India. Now, why would they do that? Because in global affairs, the truth isn't in what people say, it's in what they do. And the truth is undeniable. BrahMos works. India reportedly used it to destroy two Pakistani HQ-9 systems, advanced Chinese-made air defense units based on the Russian S-300, designed specifically to shoot down crews and ballistic missiles. But they failed. That alone speaks volumes. The HQ-9 was supposed to be Pakistan's shield. Instead, it became proof that the BrahMos is nearly unstoppable. That's why nations across Asia and beyond are lining up to buy it. Because when real-world combat tests your weapon and it wins, the world takes notice. And now, 
the missile once dismissed as an overhyped joint project is being called one of the best, if not the best, cruise missile in the world. If you enjoyed this missile speed breakdown of one of India's smartest moves, don't just vanish off radar. Lock on to that like button, fire off a share, and hit subscribe before the next strike of insight drops. Because on this channel, we don't just follow global power shifts, we track them at Mach 3.